Microwave is killing your food, completely killing enzymes. So I'm glad you agree. And you don't have to have it in the house also because it's cooking your body too. This is strong uh, radiation. Uh, you know, the problem with diseases is acid. You know, everything you eat like meat, milk, eggs, cooked food, and all industrial food, please pay attention, all industrial food, everything you buy in a box is, is very toxic, extremely toxic, and its product is acid. So acid is cause of almost all diseases. If you have alkaline blood, you cannot be sick literally from anything. So now our normal pH of the blood is 7.35 to 7.45. If you are in this, uh, you can, you're okay. If you're acidic, you have a problem. You have some disease, but it's not yet uh, on the surface. Normal, how you can check your morning urine, I mean your pH, pH you can check your morning pH uh, urine, which has to be 6 to 6.5 with the pH strips you buy in uh, pharmacy. Uh, there is a oncologist, uh, university professor Dr. Tullio Simoncini in Rome, Italy, and what he did, you know, he have his own clinic in Rome, and he is treating cancer uh, with baking soda. For example, he treats a colon cancer in six days with baking soda, just washing colon twice daily with solution of baking soda, because it is easy. Colon cancer is a fungus. And you just wash with the baking soda because baking soda is the best medication for a fungus and in six days people are going home. And I can provide you with uh, his website and his videos, his lectures and you can see with your own eyes. This is Dr. Noreen Day. She was a, a chief of, 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 uh, of orthopedic surgery at San Francisco General Hospital and university professor, medical professor. She got breast cancer, she rejected all standard therapies, Western therapies, and she just uh, ate food, raw food. She followed God's law, and she is now still healthy and alive 18 years after diagnosis with cancer. <laughs> but not only that, we have another our friend, our neighbor from, uh, from Alcobar, Renaud, the uh, Canadian, uh, French Canadian. He did the same, you know. He got PSA, which is a, a, a marker which is indicating prostate cancer. So he had, a, uh, he's around 60s, and uh, he had high blood pressure, cholesterol, and all this. You know, he was going through biopsy and starting to schedule operations and stuff. And he came one day to, to our doors and his uh, door, and he said, okay, what to do? Do you have something? I told him, you know, what to do. I, I told him what I'm telling you now. And he said, uh, well, uh, this is too much. I'm a manager. I cannot do this, you know, all this raw food, juicing salads, you know, it's too much. So he left. After one week, he came again. And from that day, he followed. And just in, in two and a half weeks, he got rid of high blood pressure in one month of cholesterol. And in three months, his PSA was from 4.5. Do, drop to 3.5 and above 4 is dangerous. So he is not anymore sick, just with the raw food. <laughs> this is important to understand. Causes of almost all chronic diseases. There are two causes only. First is nutrition deficiency. Because we don't eat raw food, raw vegetables and fruits, we don't get enough nutrition. So this is one thing, and second thing is toxicity. You put so much toxins into your body and body cannot perform his normal natural function. And what are the treatments of, of this, of almost all diseases? Natural juices. We said that the first cause of diseases is not enough nutrition. It means we have to flood our body with juices to get more nutrition. And uh, uh, but raw juices, squeezed juices, fresh juices, and second treatment is detoxification, means enema, washing of the colon. Why is this important? <coughs> you know, when people get a cancer, for example, they get on a good diet, and uh, they uh, they are 
really good, doing good, but all these toxins, all this cancer which is digesting from uh, raw food, because raw enzymes are digesting cancer, and cancer is getting out through our colon. But these toxins are again absorbed through the colon <coughs> and getting into his blood. So he killed himself with these toxins. So this is important in a really severely ill people to in the same time when they are going through juicing and good diet to wash their color because all these toxins are accumulating there. Uh, the effect of bad food. Many people have, you know, on the left side is a normal colon, on the right side we have damaged colon. Many people have damaged colon. Why? Because all this cooked food and these poisons, we, they, call, they, they cause inflammation. Inflammation means that our colon is infla uh, it's, uh, swollen. So when colon is swollen, then the, the walls touch each other and you have, you know, these strict, uh, constrictions and, and problems. And also, because we have so much waste in our colon, then colon is dropping down and cannot really clean very nicely. So cleaning of the, of the colon is very important. Sorry? Okay. You can prevent and treat cancer, sclerosis multiplex, fibromyalgia, diabetes type 1 and 2, atherosclerosis, high blood pressure, skin problems, acne, neurodegenerative diseases, inflammatory diseases, vision problems, and many others. So just to tell you that Western medicine have actually three types of treatments, let's say for cancer. We have chemo, radio, and operations, okay? So chemo is causing, uh, it's killing bone marrow. And if you give a chemo to, to healthy person, what will happen with this healthy person? Will become sick. So we give to sick person and we expect to, to become well. You know, you kill bone marrow and you kill also some malignant cells, but next time when malignant cells start to re uh, multiply again, there is no immune system to fight back. And also about radiation, about uh, radio, you know, this is million dose, a higher dose than x-ray. So when you go and take your, take your x-ray, they tell you, don't take your x-ray, you can cause a cancer. But when you have a cancer, they tell you, uh, <laughs> take a million dose higher, you know. So it's, there is no common sense, you know. And also about uh, surgery. Surgery is just a spreading malignant cells around and biopsy too, with needles and knives. And we don't, you know, cancer, when we have too much toxins in the body, then body to prevent, you know, intoxication will form the basket. And actually tumors are the baskets. So body to protect himself will put all these toxins into the baskets. Means when somebody has cancer, blood is overloaded with toxins. And better we do some cleaning instead of just cutting, you know. And uh, very important to say, when you're sick and then you go to the doctor to get your medications, you know, but it's important to understand that medications has nothing to do with your recovery. When you recover and you think that you recover because of medications, no. Because, you know, your body can recover, you know, without any medication. Uh, medication is just masking the symptom and it's not treating the cause. You know, fever is just a symptom. Coughing is just a symptom. And bacteria are friendly to us. Bacteria are not causes of diseases. Bacteria are friendly and they come to our body when we have toxins, to eat the toxic, toxic waste. You know, bacteria are helping us. And we kill with antibiotics bacteria and we actually cause more problems. So instead of killing bacteria, you just clean your body and start eating good food, raw food, and you will actually, in this way, get in one or two days well, instead of on one week on antibiotics. And um, my recommendations, eat mostly raw food, avoid all animal products, drink plenty of clean water, breathe deeply, very important to breathe deeply because this is also a detox program and there is one course, Art of Living course, which is excellent course for breathing and I really recommend highly. Follow the sun cycle means sleep when it's dark, 
you know, from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., you know, we produce melatonin, which is a very important hormone, cancer-fighting hormone. And it's